I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Oh, it's a nice fish. Oh, no, don't, don't, go, don't go in there. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Nice peacock bass. Look at that. This show is brought to you by The Real Hooker Bait and Tackle, Miami's premier bait and tackle shop. Swing by for all of your fresh and saltwater needs. They've got all the lures and tackle that you need, fishing rods and coolers, live bait, and a friendly smile. And don't forget to mention CEO Fishing when you stop by. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of CEO Fishing. My wife is pregnant. Yes, you heard that right. My wife is pregnant, and we are through the first trimester, or are still in the first trimester, but we are a lot further along than the first two times that we attempted. A lot of people don't realize that my wife and I have lost two babies um, this past year, so it's been it's been a struggle. You know, it's it's been stressful, um, and to the point where we almost did not want to do it anymore. Because for one, I didn't want to have to see my wife physically go through that again. And two, just the mental stress of it, you know, it's, it's, it's always heartbreaking when you're expecting to have a child and something like that happens. So this time we got far enough to where we've got a heartbeat. And yet at only 11 weeks, it's already a little baby in there. It's already got arms, legs, feet, head, like the whole nine and the heartbeat. So everything's healthy thus far. We did find out that she's prone to maybe some clotting and stuff. So I actually have to inject my wife every night with a blood thinner to hope to keep the baby, you know, that everything goes good, you know. So we're doing everything in our power to have this child. And I want to bring you guys along on the process because I already have visions of me fishing with this little little kid you know i got the little mini rods and stuff i can bust out some of the walmart rods the the whatever the toy rods and everything so i've been thinking about all this stuff the crazy part is i've already done it before i already have a 20 year old and a 15 year old you know so i was already almost out the door done done skis you know no more kids my life is good but that was with a previous wife previous marriage and my current wife she doesn't have any children of her own and what's the one thing that I can do as a man other than be a true man for my wife and a true husband and and that um what's the one thing I can do for her is to allow her and provide her with a child um so that she can see what it's like to experience true motherhood she's a mother to my children you know, she's helped raise them. She's helped mold them. She's helped be a positive influence in their lives. You know, we have a good relationship with the ex, my ex-wife. Uh, so all of that has been a good dynamic. But the one missing thing in her life is her own child. So we're getting a little older and I just did not want her to miss out on that experience. So I got to do the fun part successfully. And uh, now is the hard part, getting through the pregnancy. Fingers crossed that everything goes smooth this time. We don't want to have to experience the loss of another baby because uh, honestly, no one should have to experience that. But at the end of the day, you know, I have my family. And even though they are her family, I want her to have her own as well. It's just something different about having your own child. I'm not saying you cannot love a child with all of your heart unconditionally and to the fullest. It's just something a little bit different when it's your own baby. So with that being said, it is winter. It's cooler weather. There are some fish pushing up into the freshwater and canal systems. And I'm just going to go throw some lures and see if I can catch some. This is my weapon of choice today. Let's see if I can catch a fish. So we've had a lot of rain lately. Uh, I don't know if you can see right now, but there is a lot of current pushing from right to left into this spillway over here. And there's gonna be a lot of small fish pushing from this area and over. I know sometimes when the current's ripping too much that these freshwater fish don't sit in it, but bigger fish like snook and ladyfish will if it's going out to the salt water. So I'm hoping there's something here. We're gonna walk over to the spillway here in a second. 
that drop. Let's see. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, got to tighten a little bit. I'm on. Oh, it's strong, it's strong, it's strong, it's strong. Oh, yeah, baby. I know what this is. I know what this is. Little snook. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I love catching these things. All right, so this lure so far works pretty good. I'm gonna keep trying, but first let's let them go and uh, get another one. Hey, keep in mind, Flamingo is only an hour and a half, two hours away from me, and I'm gonna be taking the boat out there quite a bit now. You know, it's time to catch some tarpon and snook and different and different species. You know, I'm still gonna be doing peacock bass fishing, obviously, but I'm gonna get into the canals, catching the peacocks and largemouth fishing. So 2024 is going to be a year of growth a year of CEO fishing development, um, branding, everything that I've got. If you want to check out the hats, you know, go visit ceofishing.com. Or if you're in Miami, you can just swing by the real hooker bait and tackle to pick up yours today. All right, I just walked along this ledge from way down there to try and catch a fish. So wish me some luck. I'm going to drop this right here. I got one. Got him. Got him. Got him. Ooh, strong. Strong one. Strong one. I gotta get off this stuff. Ah, oh, got some nastiness on it. But, got me a fish. Right there. Peacock bass. Alright, it's a long walk back, but I think I spotted another fish. Let's see here. I'm gonna cast right here. Right off the edge. Got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, it's a nice fish. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't go in there. Oh, I got a horse. Oh. oh, shoot. Okay. Strong fish. Strong fish. Woo. Woo. Nice peacock bass. Nice. Let me get some sunlight for this thing. Nice peacock bass. Look at that. All right. And all on the lure. So, so far, so good. Couple nice fish today. You'll never guess what. Never guess what. Well, you guess. Yeah, you guessed it. Just like that. Another on the lure. It's the third snook to hit this lure. Second snook I landed. It's a little guy, but I love him all the same. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope everybody has a very safe New Year's Eve. And, uh... If you want to help out with all my medical expenses and the baby and stuff coming up, or you just want to show some love and support for the channel, you know you can buy me a coffee in the link below, and uh, that'll all go to feeding my baby, buying diapers, developing the channel, you know, and doing different things. And it's just a thumbs up like, hey, Brian, we appreciate you, and we like the content that you're making, and this is our show of love. So if you're down for that, again, you can buy me a coffee in the link below and always make sure you subscribe with your notifications on. And as usual, you know, we always got to leave on a positive note. Keep your head up, keep moving forward and tight lines. Zzz.